so sorry you guys. I feel like I need to apologize or we need to apologize because we just got back from Italy and this place is a mess. Why are there toys all over the staircase? Oh, we're filming. Hey. Hi guys! They're everywhere. Get over here. What the fuck was that? You're contributing to this mess. He, so he just found that on the counter somewhere? An empty jar of peanut butter? What is this? Did you miss us? Your daddy's missed you. I don't know if he missed us. I mean, he's been following us around for some reason, but I don't know if that like says anything about if he missed us. That's because we brought him some Italiano biscottos from Italiano, Italia. See. See, your your Italian's getting so good, honey. See, si, see, si, see. Si. Si. Oh wait, see, si. honey. I I don't mean to be a, but half the, all of this is you. This oh, needs no. to go. No, this, no, this no, computer no, no. on the. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why is that the funniest sound <laughs> in the world? <laughs> Andy, clean that thing out. Look at this. Holy crap, Bandit! You're crazy. Um, so, you know, no, 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 no. Let, let's, let's come correct, okay? All of this is yours. This is mine. For my eggs. This is mine, this is my book. Oh, and this, this is me studying for Italian. This is bandits. Okay. So the only thing that's mine is my backpack. Oh, hold on. Let me clean this lens off. It's kind of blurry a little bit. Okay. Oh lose my God, our, much better. Hey, lose our address, Riverside County. No, we need that. We need that. We need, no, we need to pay that. <laughs> uh, this is all you. These, these are definitely not mine. Hey, you guys don't even know. So Aaron came with me to work yesterday. No, get this. Aaron comes with me to work yesterday, right? And like, I'm about to leave, and he's like, I was like, go to Costco. It's across the street. Um, uh, just we need a rotisserie chicken. We need egg whites. We need toilet paper and for our bums and we need paper towels. Those are the four things I told him to get. Four things, right? This fool had a cart full. <laughs> it wasn't that. Was no, full. it was full. You got all kinds of crap. You, uh, what else did you find? We did need snacks though. We needed snacks, you knew that. Chicken broth, cereal. You, when you said, I'm off the sauce, don't let me buy any cereal. I couldn't stop you, I wasn't there. And then we got this. Damn, you raccooned it already. <laughs> this. What else we got? Where are those damn nuts? Look at this thing, Aaron. There's only two of us in this house. It's gonna last us a year. You ate half of them already on the couch last okay, night. Yeah, shut. Turn off the camera. Turn off the camera. <laughs> Where, Where are you going? Cat? Where are you going? Get back here. Where's my cat? Nobody gets us. Oh, Merlin. I get you. And I see you. I see. Oh, Bandit! Bandit! Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Hi, baby. What happened? Oh, <sighs> man. We, uh... Hey, at least we're back home, though, right? I know. Does it feel good to be back home? It you? actually really does. <laughs> but, like, I miss it so much. The one time I go to try to make the bed... I mean... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How's the bed look? Good? Does it look cute? No, Aaron, there's like a blanket hanging here. There's a sock on the floor. There's bandit toy, bandit toy, another blanket. The sheet okay, is the way bed. over here. There's actually about five, six bandit toys behind Merlin. And then um, two, two, um, what do you call those? Bounce. <laughs> oh. So did you have fun in Italy? I did have fun in Italy. Did you? Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. I wanna go back though. It's crazy because we've been, we've traveled a lot and there's only been two times, I said two times, two times. <laughs> two we, times. <laughs> we went on vacation that we came back and we were like depressed that we didn't live there. And that was, the first time was London uh -huh. when, um, on our honeymoon. Yes. On the first time we've been to London. And then the second time was now in Italy. I know, and I don't even want like, it's not even that I want to live there necessarily. I just want to go every six months, spend six months there, not have to work or do anything for six months, come back home, work for six months, and then 
do the same thing, repeat. You know, it's not a lot to ask for. You just want to have your eat, pray, love life. I've never seen that movie. I don't know. What you went backwards. About. Yes, you do. No, you, I, you saw it like four times on the plane alone. It was really cool. It was really magical. It was like it was such a cool trip, and we can't wait to go back. We're already planning to go back. We're gonna. We're hopefully going back this summer, and we're trying to wait to buy our tickets on Cyber Monday or Black Friday. Yeah. But we're gonna go there and we're actually planning on, we're trying to see if we can sneak off to one other country that's like kind of nearby for the weekend before we go back to Sicily. We're not gonna go back to Rome this time, even though Rome was awesome. Yeah, Rome was the best. It was so magical and artsy. The people were cool and the food was good. I just felt at home there. I felt like I could eat whatever I wanted and not have to worry about anything and everything was gonna be okay. Oh, bajona de una pizza! <laughs> It's weird. We said, I want pizza. Tell them what we said. I need a pizza. I need a pizza. I need a pizza. <laughs> but we've been working on our Italian since we've been back, too. We've been, we downloaded the <laughs> Obviously, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we're really committed. We've been doing it every single day since we've been back. And um, we're doing really good. I feel like we're doing good. I feel like I could have a decent conversation it's only been like a week or so and i feel like i can have a decent conversation with yeah. your fa tu padre we actually found out that my dad's coming flying in for christmas he's going to be here they fly in on the 11th of oh december oh my gosh yeah here for a month and a half yeah um with um with her <laughs> John. what so they're coming and um they're getting married in i think it's going to be like the second week of January but we're gonna fly out or no we're driving up to Vegas and um, me and my brother are best mans for my dad so I'm just chopped liver well you're there you're invited you're and Jessica and the kids get to be like guess damn take <laughs> longer it's okay I know how he feels about me yeah, what he j actually he just said um he loved he said tell Aaron I love him. Oh that's nice. Yeah, I, this morning when I was on the phone with him, he said I love you. Tell Aaron I love you. Um, thank God somebody loves me. What, what am I? Chopped liver? So bandit loves me. Stay tuned for that video in Vegas. Did you ever think that you were gonna see your 76 year old father get married Aaron, in please, Vegas and have please, a Vegas wedding in America? Please. <laughs> please. No, I had to like, we had to fly across the world to give him his divorce papers. Now we have to like plan, help plan his wedding and I have to like call the hotels and like find the, be the best deals and what he wants and like, if my mom knew any of this, that I did any of this, she would, she would kill me. She would kill me. Yeah. You know what though? Life's full of curveballs. The only thing you can do is just sit and laugh at them. Like you have to laugh at the end of the day. They're just so comical looking back, isn't it? Life's always gonna throw these crazy curveballs. I'm glad we can laugh at them, though. I don't know if I'm there yet. I'll tell you when I'm there. Okay, I'm glad I can laugh at it. I'm glad you can laugh at it, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a crazy week since we've been back, though, but I'm glad to be back home. It feels good coming back to our house. Like, it, it's a feeling like no other. Like, you know what I mean? Like, doesn't it feel yeah. like that? It's so crazy, because I really do love this house, and like, I know we move a lot. Save the comment. <laughs> But uh, like this house is like special to us. We're really happy here and it does feel like home, but it does, it's like, it's a weird thing. Like I, I think um, maybe some like first generation people out there can relate, but like being a first generation, it feels like you're kind of torn. And like, like you feel like you're supposed to be here, but like, and you're grateful that you were here in America and that like you have these opportunities that none of your family before you had. But in the same time, you feel like you're torn because all your family is over there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, and yeah. you kind of feel like what, like I, like you almost feel like you were supposed to be over there. So it's like, it kind of feels like your whole, you're like, you're kind of just torn. Oh man, so uh, yeah, we have a crazy week coming up. We have another really fun video coming up. We'll tell you in the next one what's going on. 
Um, but we're about to go on another little trip that was kind of out of nowhere, but it's really, really cool. We can't wait to share it with you guys. It's kind of a work trip, but it's gonna be really cool. It's something that we've never done before. And um, some of you, our Patreon channel knows about it, but- um, Yes, Patreon already knows everything right now. Yeah, <laughs> they actually helped me with it. So thank you guys so much. Um, yeah. But yeah, so um, it's cool. Also, um, if you guys haven't seen the new Kickstarter up, uh, it's my second comic. It's a regular comic book. It's Knox number two. Um, if you want to help out, thank you so much. Thank you to everyone that already has. It really does mean a lot to have the arts supported like that. It's kind of been a crazy year. I'm really tired and burnt out from working so much on these comics and stuff. So I'm going to take a break until March. So I won't have anything until Fairy Boy 3 comes out in March, which Fairy Boy 3 hasn't been out in like five years now. So it's going to be crazy with all these projects coming out but thank you guys so much for everything it really does help hope you guys have a great weekend and a great week and a great month and uh know that you're loved and if you're going through anything just know it's only temporary it always gets better yeah i love that anyways we love you guys stay tuned for the next video it's gonna be it's gonna be a cool one Happy Halloween, you guys. So I opened my email and um, apparently Chipotle is doing their, every year they do this like costume thing where if you wear a costume, you get an entree, like a burrito or a bowl for uh, $6 or free. If, if you come in costume. The only thing I have to do is convince John. The only thing I have to do is convince John to dress up with me now. Wish me luck for burritos tonight. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you in that now. What do you do when I'm at work all day? Is this literally what <laughs> Why? Honey, Chipotle burritos, $6 if you come in costume. If Seriously? This is what this is about? Not like some role play? If Chipotle? <laughs> Aaron, they're still like six bucks. It's, you're saving like three dollars. We've done a lot more for a lot less. I mean, you're right, but like, to waltz into a restaurant in tights for a six dollar burrito? You can wear a mask. Is there this or the shark costume? Seriously? Love you. You couldn't even zip it up, huh? Oh, no. Damn. Oh, it's because of Italy, huh? <laughs> For me? You mean the things you do for Chipotle? The things you would do for a burrito. <laughs> you know, you're the best thing <laughs> It's like Taco Tuesday in the sky. There goes it. Suiting up. Honey, get in the car. <laughs> God damn it. What? Nothing. <laughs> Six bucks? <laughs> Less than half price. It's not, good. it's not less than half price. It's less than half price. It's, not, it's like, I think a burrito's like eight something. No, Chipotle burritos are like 15 bucks now. No, they're not. It's half price. You're lying. It's, it's like price. 20 bucks when we go there together. Half price? No guacamole. No, it says on the terms I read, no guacamole, guacamole is extra. Really? Yes, so Did don't they... get guacamole in that costume or you still look like a damn fool. That's messed up. Or are you gonna look like a damn fool? That's no mean. I'm gonna dress like this and then I'm gonna give throw in some free guacamole. Yeah, it's a gotta... scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you ready to get some burritos? <laughs> Happy 
Happy Halloween! See, that wasn't that humiliating. <laughs> Three forks? Well, for Bandit. One for oh. Bandit. He's part of the family, right? This, hey, I know I talked a lot of time, but this was a grand idea. This was a grand idea. I mean, you can't beat that, right? No. Chipotle. Chipotle and scary movies. Six dollars. Less than half. Less no, they're not twelve dollars. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Pop. These are real. You get paid for these? Yeah, really expensive.